Hello and welcome to Blogsprout. I'm LJ and today I'm going to go through my strategy for 2023 for my niche site portfolio. Most of my focus as always is going to be my main site. I do think, you know, personally, I think you can reach higher, you know, higher threshold if you focus your time on one site, but I am dabbling in other sites as well. Um, which we'll discuss here. So most of this video is going to focus on my main site. So this is the, the site that I um, publish the large um, niche site income report. And I started it at the beginning of 2022 and just finished month 12 at the end of 2022. So for 2023, the big things I'm thinking about is obviously AI is getting quite the buzz. And though I don't think a ton will change this year for, um, you know, Google versus chat GPT. I think there might be um, a rationale. I just think Google is too, um, too habitual for most people. You know, it's very easy to access. You don't have to go to a specific link. You don't have to sign up. Um, and it gives you just a wider range of responses as well as more up-to-date content. So, um, so I'm really trying to get ahead of the curve and try to create a brand. So I'm really focused on creating a brand this year. I definitely am going to continue to create content, but I'm not solely relying anymore on just Google traffic. I'm trying to find other outlets for traffic. So, and that's going to be done in two ways. I'm trying to do, build a community and I'm trying to create something that would be considered more news type content. It's more up to date and um, it allows to, to draw traffic and links potentially in more of a, um, you know, an ongoing basis. So building a community, I'm hoping um, that I will get people to want to contribute to the site, whether they write an opinion article or share information about their experience. I'd really like to get some community built content because that also, um, you know, the more people you get involved, the more people are going to come to the site. They're going to share their articles with their friends and the friends are going to come to the site. So it's kind of a new avenue for traffic. I'd like to build an email list so that I can get the, the community content. Um, I haven't done that at all all and I just feel like the content I've been writing isn't really doesn't really lend themselves to want to join an email list it's just just a little too bland so with community content I hope that'll be a great source to bring in and have people sign up for emails so that they can get this type of of content emailed to them and the other thing I'm really trying to do is focus on um, social media. So I'll go through what my social media strategy is going to be. It's not very well planned out yet because I'm very new to it and it does take a lot of time. I'm not new to social media. I understand social media. I have personal uh, accounts and things like that. But when it comes to um, building a brand on it, I am not very well educated or experienced. And I know a lot of people in the past, I've said stay away from social media because it's a treadmill. And unfortunately, I think we got to get on the treadmill if we want to survive. So, um, you know, I think building that audience is really is really what's going to help you long term. And then I want to work on some news content. So that's finding things that are just more focused on like in a timely manner. We saw and we've seen that ChatGPT only has things up to 2021. It might even be November of 2021. So not even December. It's more than a year ago. So if you have content that is trying to be the first source of collecting data or, um, you know, that, that type of stuff, um, you will lend yourself to potentially getting more news traffic, you know, um, people finding your article or popping up on Google News or Google Discover, um, posting that on your social media accounts. And that will drive some traffic as long as it's interesting um, and unique. And then I also think it could be a really good way to generate backlinks. I do kind of want to incorporate like a PR strategy where I'm creating these um, news type articles, whether it's unique data or 
um, you know, commenting on something and maybe trying to push out to PR at this point, you know, the beginning of 2023, I'm definitely focusing on just creating the news type content and trying to get a social following and kind of see where it goes from there. And then in the second half, I might consider, um, you know, more outreach. It's going to be a lot of work to just maintain the articles and start the social strategy along with everything else I'm trying to do. So I think it's going to be difficult, but that's really where my time and energy is going to be focused um, in 2023. So my sister site, I started this a couple months ago, I think. It's not really doing very well, but it, um, I do think it has a potential to do well. So I'm just focusing on getting content, content, content. My VA will eventually transfer from my main site to my sister site because the content that I'm going to write is just not as easy for her to do. So I think the sister site will be a good kind of transition for her. So I plan to have her resources be put into the sister site. And I'm really just focusing on getting content out there, getting Google to acknowledge my site and kind of see where we end up in 2023. Then for my AI site, um, the AI site was started in December, mid-December. So it's very new, but it's already been indexed and it's ranking, <laughs> not really getting any clicks, but it's ranking. Um, and I'm really just trying to see how AI performs um, throughout this next year because I do think a lot's going to change. You know, with the helpful content update, we basically already heard Google say, we want things that are human focused and made by humans for humans rather than made by AI and probably not really relatable. So I will create the content you know, it won't be as much as my other sites, um, you know, maybe 15 articles or so. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to like truly bulk publish the AI content because for me, it's a manual process sort of right now in the sense that I'm, you know, like the, the tool I'm using um, is texta.ai. And, you know, I still, at least to my knowledge, have to copy the text, put it in WordPress, make sure it's formatted right, add an image. So I'm still doing some manual work, which is why I can't crank out hundreds of content every month. And I know a couple of you have commented on that. So if you have any ideas or strategies, please let me know. But I haven't quite figured that out, how to get the content from, you know, Texa or any type of um, AI service and get it right into WordPress with an image. It's like, it just, it just takes a lot of time. So um, I, I don't think I'll be able to keep up with that. So then for the last one, um, my demo site is constructioncatalogs.com. I mostly use this for, um, you know, providing specific examples. I just released the um, brand swapping technique showing an example on construction catalogs. And that's what I intended it for it to be. But, you know, it's earning a few dollars a month, which I didn't expect it to. So I'm potentially thinking about outsourcing some of the content so that I can, um, you know, try to build it up a little bit, but it is definitely not a priority. But I will, you know, continue to track the demo site. And if something odd happens, I'll probably share it with you. So that's all I have for 2023. Um, you know, my, my strategy is pretty broad at the moment, but my focus, you know, for my main site is really going to be social and news. Uh, I am trying to also think about affiliates um, because, you know, one of the thoughts I have about AI is that people aren't going to go to AI to find out the, you know, reviews about a press best product or, um, you know, the typical affiliate content just because it doesn't know, it doesn't have that experience. It can gain information about what other people say, but I do think a lot of people are going to resort to Google or a specific, um, you know, specific site for that input. So this is this year I'm hoping I can, you know, get my hands on some of the products so I can have firsthand uh, experience and make things slightly more of a want base rather than a need base. The need base has been great, but the cost is, is pretty low of the products that I am, um, I am promoting. So I'd like to have a few more higher ticket items that um, have the potential for higher 
um, higher commissions. So that's that's what I have for 2023. Um, let me know what you guys think and if there's anything else you're um, interested in learning more about. So thank you for sticking through the video. That's all I have for today. This is Blog Sprout. I'm LJ and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.